Welcome back to how to create a job board with formidable forms. In the last video, we learned how to route job applications to the job poster. In this video, we're going to learn how to display those job applications to the job poster using nested views. First, let's review a couple of things. We're going to need two forms and two views for this video. The first form is the job posting form. The job posting form is necessary to re-familiarize ourselves with because we're actually going to be using the view that we created in the front end editing video. Specifically, we're going to make note of the job title and the user ID fields. We're also going to need to be familiar with the job application form. You might remember that in the job application form, we have the job title, which is a dynamic field that's loaded from the job posting field and the user ID, which is the ID of the applicant. Our job title field is going to be the shared field that we'll need in order to create our nested views. The first thing we're gonna do is create our second or nested view. Our primary or parent view is going to be the user job edit view. We'll be converting that in a moment. But first, let's make a view for all of our job applicants. We'll call this job applicants. And we'll use entries from the job application form. We're going to make this an all entries view. In the next video, we're going to learn how to link to a detailed page without creating a dynamic view. But the reason that we're making this an all entries view instead of a dynamic view is because we need to pass certain information to the parent view which does not work with a dynamic view. This view is going to consist of a bulleted list of folks who applied to the job being displayed in the parent view. So we're simply going to grab the first name and the last name. The other crucial part of this being a nested view is the way that we filter entries. Earlier we stated that our job title would be the shared field between our parent and our child or nested view. So what we're going to do is filter entries on the job title. We're gonna say job title is equal to, and then we're going to pass it a parameter. So we're going to say get param equals pass underscore field. This is not defined yet. We're going to define it in the parent view. But this field is how our nested view knows which job applicants to show. So with that, we'll click publish. And then we will head over to our user job edit view. Now this is a listing page with all entries. We're going to convert this one to a dynamic view. We want all of our jobs to be listed here. And along with editing the job, we want this job to be clickable so that we can see the applicants. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make this a link to the detail link shortcode. And then we'll populate the detail page. There's only going to be a couple of entries here. The first is going to be a heading applied for, and then the job title so that we know which applicants we're looking at. And then we're going to use our brand new view. So we'll click on view and we'll click on job applicants and we'll insert this into the post. But there's one more thing that we need to add. In the last view, we set up our filter to work off of the parameter pass field. We actually need to define that here. So we'll say pass field equals and then job title. Because again, the job title is the shared field between our main view, the user job edit, and the nested view, the job applicants. With that, we should be able to update this. And then we'll head over to our pages. 
We already have a page created where users could edit job postings, but we do need to add one more argument or parameter to our shortcode. If we highlight this and click forms, we'll click view and we'll select user job edit. We want to filter short codes within view content. This will add a new parameter called filter equals limited. And that's necessary for us to see the right information within our nested view. With that, we'll click update and we'll click view page. As the administrator, I have submitted one job. That's the front end developer job. And if I click on that, we'll see we have one applicant for the front end developer position. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to learn how to extend this nested view in order for job posters to make comments on the applicants.